and Louise, um, we constantly hear about our thyroid. I mean, what a major organ it is and the kind of problems that could come from it, but never get very much information. Tell us a little bit about the thyroid, what it means, and what we need to look out for. Well, the thyroid is your key metabolic organ, number one. It helps your body metabolize calories. It also, because of its content of iodine, is very important in terms of purging bacteria and going after bacteria. It's very connected to your heart, believe it or not. And we often find that individuals that have malfunctioning thyroids also have problems with high cholesterol levels. So I would suggest that everybody really should figure out what is going on with their thyroid. It seems to be a gland that's very sensitive to electromagnetic radiation, very sensitive to foods, including soy-based products, which can actually depress thyroid function, and may also be very uh, involved with our current obesity epidemic. And I think that's something that nobody's looking at. So what do we do? We, first, we have to measure and evaluate it. That's where a TSH comes in very handy. And it's a very easy blood test that you can go to your doctor to perform. And if your TSH ranges anywhere from, or oh, the levels have now shifted. I think it's uh, anywhere below 3.0 uh, on their particular scale then you know that you may be a candidate for hypothyroidism, in which case your thyroid needs some shoring up, either in the form of a tissue glandular or perhaps in the form of uh, an herbal extract that is very helpful uh, for thyroid performance. Some individuals find they do very well when they take more tyrosine. Other individuals need a little bit more selenium. But whatever your thyroid needs is something that you should evaluate, particularly with the TSH and another test known as the iodine loading test, where we can figure out whether iodine, uh, either too much or too little, is at play here. Because the thyroid is one of the largest glands that stockpiles uh, iodine. Second, and the second most important area is, believe it or not, in the breasts. So I would suggest that the iodine acts as an adaptogen and is very helpful for both hypo and hyperthyroid conditions. And we simply have to measure to know. Years ago, there was this old time test where you could take tincture of iodine, rub it on your forearm in the size of a quarter. And if it was absorbed within 24 hours, then you, know, you were deficient. If it, if it stayed on your, made a little mark and it stayed on your forearm, then you know that you didn't need any. And we're seeing that everybody that does that iodine test topically is very deficient in iodine. So taking extra iodine may be one of the problems. We know we're very deficient as a society. It's just relegating how much and when. There's a lot of you know, research that still needs to be done in, on that accord is also very helpful. So there are problems with the thyroid. I think that all the chemicals in the environment are affecting the thyroid. You know, they're slowing down the way the thyroid metabolizes, the way the thyroid functions. I think that individuals that are copper toxic, which is an area I hope we're going to be talking about, uh, may also be uh, in metabolic slowdown. If your adrenals are burned out, sometimes the thyroid picks up the slack because they're both energy glands and that doesn't work properly or if your calcium-potassium ratio in your hair, tissue mineral analysis, is out of whack, then your, your body's going to go into a metabolic slowdown. One mineral does slow down the thyroid, and that's the mineral that everybody overtakes, you know, they're over-supplementing with, and that's calcium. So when I do my testing, whether it's an iodine loading after the TSH test that is taken, and then I do a tissue mineral analysis, I'm finding that individuals are stockpiling calcium, which kind of puts the brake on the entire metabolic system. And when we alleviate their exceedingly high amounts of calcium, I'm talking about people that are taking 1,200 milligrams to 1,500 milligrams, wow. their thyroids start to be balanced. Raise more, give them more potassium, and they're humming right along, and they then can lose weight. So there's a lot to be said for this. It's mineral-based, it's glandular-based, it's toxin-related. And um, it has an awful lot to do with uh, the environment.